Good morning. Uh, welcome to the, the TE3003 syllabus design. Uh, this is the course that you'll be doing with me for this semester. Um, so let me uh, take this opportunity first to welcome you to this course. And as usual, as in most of the other courses that we have done, um, syllabus design will be uh, supplemented in a blended manner where uh, you can see that this course, besides having face-to-face -face, uh, meetings and tutorial, uh, I will be supplementing the class, this class with a um, course networking uh, as our um, LMS platform. Okay? So let me first introduce to you what this course is all about. We'll first look at uh, the synopsis of what, what we are trying to do. So what, what you're seeing here is the first screenshot of, um, of uh, the CN um, uh, introductory outline. So basically, in this course, what we will actually try to do is to try to understand um, the different curriculum models and syllabus types. Um, so the whole syllabus is prepared is designed actually to, to help you as a teacher to consider critically the information that you can actually obtain from the course and, and then apply it, apply that to your knowledge and, um, and you're using your experience and classroom practice. Okay? So you, you will be exposed to um, mainly the principles um, involved in curriculum development or syllabus design i.e. selecting, grading, and integrating the various components of a language syllabus. And then, having understood that, you will then learn to apply that in a, in a context where you will need to analyse actual syllabus that are practised in Malaysia and in other contexts, and then apply that to your own classroom. So let's get to the learning outcomes. There are five major learning outcomes and they cover a range uh, from, from lower cognitive to a much, very much high level of uh, cognitive uh, processing. So the first two outlines, basically, they, they, they require you to sort of uh, understand uh, uh, being able to differentiate between the concepts of curriculum and syllabus, and uh, you're able to then compare and contrast the different syllabus types that we will come across uh, throughout this course, i.e. the structural syllabus, the notional functional syllabus, the skills-based syllabus, task-based syllabus, and content-based syllabus. Now, having done this basic or low-level uh, cognitive processing, we'll then move on to three other um, learning outcomes that will require you uh, the first one will require you to analyse um, the elements, the, the, the key elements or the essential elements of a syllabus, de of syllabus design. Okay? Uh, I example, so for example, you need to look at the needs analysis conducted, the goals and objectives that has been set, the content selection and organisation and evaluation components. After that, you are required then to critically analyse and assess a range of syllabus planning tools, designs, and procedures in order to help you to then apply in the last learning outcome, i.e. to design an appropriate syllabus for a particular teaching context. Next, we'll talk a little bit about the assessment procedures. Uh, a whole range of assessment procedures are employed. Basically, there are four major types of assessment procedures. The uh, first one, obviously, is the online participation where uh, you're given 5%. So there will be tasks that you later visit CN and you will have an idea what else you need to do. And obviously, there are a couple of assignments that you need to do, ranging from individual to pair to group. The first one will require you to do an individual assignment where you have to do a, a, an article critique. Then after that, you will then have to do a group presentation where you will contrast the Malaysian syllabus with another country's syllabus and then present your critical um, assessment of them. And the last assignment, which is what I call as a project-based assignment, where you will need to design a, a syllabus that will be relevant for a particular context that you have selected yourself. And obviously, um, the last uh, bit of the assessment procedure will involve you doing examinations, so there should be a mid-exam 
and a final examination. So all this will give you a total of 100 marks. Now the key references that we will be using for this particular course, there are two main course books that we'll be using. The first one that uh, we'll be using, obviously, as the name implies, will be um, David Noonan's Syllabus Design. Well, this book is slightly dated, but uh, it is the most relevant at this moment. And to supplement and, and to support this course as well, we'll be also be using um, um, Jack Richard's book called um, Curriculum Development for Language Teaching. So these are the two core textbooks. Um, other textbooks, as you can see in the list, uh, will be using as uh, supplementary uh, materials. Other than that, um, a lot of these things are also available in CN. You can go and download the e-materials, uh, the e-books, and, and as well as uh, a, a couple of um, uh, relevant articles that you will need to review. Okay, so that would so what we have done is I've basically introduced to you what this course is all about. Um, we we'll, we have looked at the synopsis. We have also looked at the learning outcomes, um, the assessment procedures, and uh, and last but not least, um, the references involved. And with that, um, I hope to see you in class um, in the next session. I hope you're going to have an enjoyable time together. Uh, where I will definitely need your full cooperation and a full participation from all of you. And with that, thank you very much. See you again in the next class.